You know that fax I read just a few moments ago while well, there was a follow-up? That just came in. Dear Mr. Bell, we have films of an extraterrestrial and its craft taken with a video and 35 millimeter camera as well. The films and the story that go with them are like no other anyone has seen or heard to date. Dr. Jonathan Reed, the person that had this experience, desires to make this information known exclusively on your program first, if you are interested. Soon to be published, it is an emotional, incredibly compelling truth that's backed up with unmistakable test, uh, test-worthy visual evidence. The films and the accompanying story make the alien autopsy in Victor's film look sparse in comparison. Hearing the story, and I'm understanding uh, when I say it's shocking, seeing the videos is an experience anyone interested in ufology would give nearly anything to see and hear. We feel honored and hopeful in offering you and your audience this exclusive opportunity to experience an incredible journey that continues to this day. I hope you might see this letter tonight. We have given our phone numbers below, and we will be available tonight if you'd like to call. We believe the timing of your return and Dr. Reed's decision to tell his story now is no accident. Want to take a ride? Signed. Robert, and I won't give Robert's last name unless he wants to give it. You want to give your last name, Robert? Absolutely. What is your last name? Wraith. Wraith. Robert Wraith. Author of Link, an Extraterrestrial Odyssey, soon to be published. A lot of publishing going on here. All right. Um, now, the want to take a ride offer, I take it that is uh, sort of metaphorical. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So uh, the ride would be a ride to see the crispy 35-millimeter photographs and the films to go with. Is that correct? Absolutely. The ride would be that and the incredible story that it's around. Uh-huh. Um, how, describe to me what's on film and what's on uh, video and how clear it is. Well, first off, the, the video and the pictures are incredibly clear. Um, it's, it's not black and white. It's not all foggy and confused. They are very clear. Very clear. Very, very clear. Uh, as clear as, for example, the Billy Meyer photographs. As clear. As clear. You, you can't mistake what you're looking at for anything other than it is. All right, I'll take your word on that. Um, how, let's see, where to begin? A million questions. Where did this experience occur? This experience occurred in uh, Washington, the state of Washington. State of Washington. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the forest. Um, a gentleman, Dr. Reed, was hiking through the woods. Dr. Jonathan Reed, what kind of doctor is he? He's a psychologist. Psychologist, all right. He was hiking through the woods with his dog when he lost track uh, of his dog. And <clears throat> and what happened was he began to hear that she was in some kind of fight or conflict. Right. So he moved to find out where she was. Well, when he found her, she was attacking this creature. And this creature was an alien. Um. Can you give us some sketchy idea of what this creature looked like? The creature is childlike in dimensions, but it has a large head. It has uh, large dark eyes. I guess it it doesn't look like the classical gray. Um, For one thing, it has very distinct features. It looks very old. Um, It has long, thin arms and long, thin legs. Okay, I think I get the picture. And the craft? The craft looks like a Marquise diamond. It's a large uh, black thing we call the obelisk. The obelisk. And what we have are photographs of it hovering. And they're very You you, You have photographs of it hovering. And we have video. And video. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's what we should do. You should get 
as much photographic evidence to me uh, by next day mail as you can get. Is that a possibility? Absolutely. It is, huh? Is John, uh, Dr. Reed uh, willing to come on the air? Yes, he is. He is. He's not with me tonight. Mm-hmm. He's not with me right now, but yes. Why? How did you get involved? I was doing some investigative work involving other things uh, when I received a call uh, from Dr. Reed. At first, I wasn't sure if this guy was just nuts or what the story was, mm-hmm. but I was intrigued. So I met with him, and we talked for quite some time, long into the night, when he showed me the photographic evidence and some other evidence, some documentation as well. That's when I said, I want to be involved. Absolutely. Uh huh. Um, so you were, in other words, there is no question when you look at this material that you're looking at the real McCoy, huh? Absolutely no question whatsoever. Well, I must say this is pretty exciting. Is Dr. Reed a resident of Washington as well? He's been pretty much on the move since this incident happened to him. Um, On the move? Yes. As Uh, in frightened, scared, or what? Yes. Um, He lost his credentials. Um, A few people involved in the situation. One has disappeared. One is dead. Whoa. Um, So it's been very difficult for him. And, of course, he lost his dog as well. What happened was the dog had, or or the uh, alien had killed the dog, Dr. Reed, had killed the alien and then took it home. Oh, my God. So the alien killed his dog. He was angry and killed the alien. Now, did he have a gun with him? How did he dispatch? He used a large wooden stick. He he beat it to death with a stick? He had clubbed it over the head with a stick, yeah. With a stick. Mm -hmm. So he's got the body. He had the body. Had the body. Until individuals... uh, cleaned out his house. MIBs. Basically, yes. Holy Jehoshaphat's, Robert. We have, we also have um, audio of the creature screaming. You do? Yes, we do. You don't have to have that handy, do you? I don't have it handy. Uh, but we'll get it to you. And we'll I, I, I you. suppose that... Um, uh, the good doctor, if I were to get him, would be from an undisclosed location. Yes, he would be. Mm-hmm. And he's told you he's willing to come on the air and present this story exclusively on my program. He, yes, absolutely. He, what happened was we were actually ready to go forward just after you announced that I was that leaving were, the air. That you were leaving the air, and uh-huh. we waited, hoping and praying that a you were all right and B, that you would come back on, because we really wanted to give this story to you. We both feel that you're a pioneer, and we respect you, and that's why we wanted to go with you. Well, I am the winner of the Crushed Candle, or <laughs> whatever it is, award. Yeah, congratulations. S- oh, Snuffed Candle Award, that's it. Yes, thank you. Hey, as long as you're upsetting them, you're doing a good job. Well, now, so when, how quickly can you dispatch the 35 millimeter uh, and uh, video to me? We'll put it on overnight mail. Overnight mail. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Okay. I am going to run an extra commercial, which will catch me up right now, and I'm going to come to you uh, on the line, and I'm going to give you a private get-it-here-quick address. And, okay. uh, and 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 we're going to proceed, and then if all this pans out, we will do a show next week. How's that? That would be fantastic. It would, huh? All right, then uh, stay right where you are.